Okay, this is kind of an experiment. I think there's three, seven pieces on here. We're gonna see if we can sand cast all of them. You gotta use the four inch flask here. So we're gonna set that aside. This is the uh, positive side that goes down. Just gonna mostly just push this in. Make sure you push it in around the edges. Okay, a little more there. Now we're, we're in kind of a trailer. So when I pound this, it's going to shake the camera. And scrape this off. side. We're going to talc this. Which way do we want to do it? If we do it that way or that way? I guess we'll do it this way. I don't think it matters. We're not going to sprue it from the side. This is going to stay right here. Let's see. Probably be easier. Well, we'll just do it like that. Try and push that in. If you had like a uh, an arbor press, you could probably push down on that and it would sink it in better. But we're not going to worry about it. Okay, we'll put this on and make sure there's nothing on this channel that's going to make the two halves not go flush. All right. Telk it again. More on there. take this pull it straight apart if I set it on something I can be sure it's going to come straight apart might have to put something in there to get it started <laughs> maybe that thing's tight tighter than normal there we go okay back side front side here Make 
sure that channel's cleaned out. Let's see, let's think about this. The sprue is going to have to go straight through here. And out the other side. Bet you it comes out. Yep. Okay. Now, when you're doing something like this, you can only push that direction. Because what's going to happen is it's going to kind of, sometimes it kind of breaks free on the other side. So if you're going the other way, you'd miss up your, uh, and it broke through on this side, you'd miss up all your sprues. I think we want to make that bigger. So if we set it down... Push that down. See how it broke free on the back? You wouldn't want to do that on that side. Now once you're like that, you can flip it over and you can take a knife, start cutting your funnel. Now, like I say, this is a complete experiment. It's possible that it won't cast. But experiments are good, and it's good to show an experiment because then people can take it and improve upon it on their own. And kind of like teamwork, we can uh, figure something new out together. You want this to be nice and smooth. Okay, we're going to go back over here. Drop that back through. Open it up on this side. Now, the next thing that you got to do Set that down, and we want to take an angle these so that when the metal rushes in, it just swoops down. What you don't want is you don't want it to have to come down and make a sudden turn. If it kind of swoops in, you'll get less turbulence, you'll get a better cast. Another thing I should have done is I should have marked this. I should have marked it so I knew exactly which one of these faced, uh, say, like this opening. Because I'd like to place this back in there. Now I have to kind of guess to try and get it. So that's really wide right there. I'm going to guess that it went in like this. And I think I got it right. And I, I really want to just push these down to get a better impression. 
Can't push it too hard now because on the back side we got that area we cut out. We don't want this collapsing. Okay, so that's really good right there. So I'm going to take and I'm going to set that aside. And on this half, again, we got to figure this out. I can kind of see that right there it's a little wider. So we're going to take, I believe it goes like this. Dumb it. That was kind of stupid there. Turn that back around. I think it goes like that. So again, I want to try and push that down a little farther. So we can increase the thickness of each of these. And I think with a uh, with a dowel that's a little smaller, we can push on each one of these. You know, imagine if you're not doing a video, how much easier it would be to experiment on something like this. Because then you can really stop and think. But I think we're doing pretty good. The other thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to start my vents. This was like a, almost a total fluke that I managed to get these. I wasn't even really paying attention, but I got the tip of these all coming to an opening for the vent. The next time I do it, I'll know in advance where to place it, but totally lucked out. Unbelievable. So now, I think it popped right out of there. So now we're going to take the knife. Now my worry is that these aren't going to be deep enough. See if the impression was deeper here, it would be a greater chance to for the air and gases to escape. This is very shallow. And I can see now as an experiment that this could improve if it were on the other side. but we're going to keep going. Which kind of gives me an idea. We're going to say this side's done. We're going to set it aside. What we're going to do, we know they're coming off the tips. So we're going to take something like this. And hopefully this helps. You know, we might also try is using a vacuum. That's what we're going to do. We can increase the venting using the vacuum. So now we got that. 
and that other one. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the two sides, put them together, just like that. What I have to do, if I'm going to use the vacuum, I don't have any here, kind of this spur of the moment idea. I'm going to take Put black ta electrician's tape around this. Uh, I don't, maybe not, because we got the vents there. So, okay, I'm gonna have to think it, think it over. But if if we did the vacuum, this is the vacuum table, and this would sit down on there. And so maybe we can get enough air coming out the sides and the bottom in order to uh, get this casting. So we're gonna stop right here. We're already at like um, 16 minutes. And then we will. I will uh, do another video tomorrow. All right, thank you.